really just the art of telling your story, meaning who you are through the character, who you are through the role, who you are through the story that you've been asked to tell. It was just Bette Midler on stage in a Beverly Hills mansion on a big white couch. She had a joint in one hand and a cigarette in the other and a cocktail. So a clean energy, a vibrant room, a place full of play, uh, where we ask the question, you know, what's possible? Our guest today is a world-renowned acting teacher, writer and director. He's coached many A-list actors, including Brad Pitt, Will Smith and Jennifer Connelly. And you worked with Leonardo DiCaprio mm -hmm. in J. Edgar and in that movie we actually see the life of J. Edgar from when he's about 20 to 60. So what was your work with Leonardo? It was about mapping out the aging process. Before I shot Felony, I had an audition for another film where I had to have uh, like blonde through my hair. Well, I didn't have to. I can't but imagine you were blonde. <laughs> it was just blonde highlights. I didn't have to, but I, I really wanted to commit to this audition. Yeah. How many characters do you play in the course of a day? Probably about 20 to 50, <laughs> I would say. And who are they? <laughs> They've all got different names. Oh, do you, oh, you, oh, you even have names Yeah, for I do. But depending on the age and the experience level of who we speak to, it changes our self-concept. If you have a project in your mind, and people do, people have wonderful ideas, mm. everybody does. You do, I oh know that guy does, your <laughs> clapper guy does, he's got <laughs> heaps of sick ideas. I just know. But everybody's got sick ideas, and yeah. the only thing is, is finessing what that, the execution of that is. So if you believe what you can achieve, after three weeks, every pore of you understands that. It's the first thing everyone says when they win an Academy Award or an Emmy. And I think what drives me is to find talent, raw talent, and give them the chance to be seen at a high level. Lion King is a, is a very, very particular individual uh, Broadway musical because it requires such a, a rich uh, casting in order to tell the story. The kinds of actors that I work with are actors that are always becoming more aware of who they are, who value themselves, and who become connected to the planet that they're into. And I think that's what actors have to do. I think that more empowered actors always make better actors.